Have you ever wondered how the rich history of the island of Dominica has shaped it into the vibrant, diverse paradise we see today? Our journey begins around 5,000 years ago, when the Otuaroid people first arrived on Dominica's shores. This marked the beginning of human habitation on the island, but the Otuaroids were not destined to remain the sole inhabitants. The Kalinago people, who arrived around the 12th century, left a profound cultural impact that still lingers today. However, the arrival of European colonizers in the late 15th century brought significant changes. These included the establishment of plantations, the importation of enslaved Africans, and the subjugation of the indigenous population. Despite the hardships, the people of Dominica persevered and fought for their freedom, eventually achieving independence in the late 20th century. This tumultuous past has shaped the island's unique cultural blend, a fusion of African, Kalinago and European influences. And thus the stage was set for the modern-day Dominica, a blend of cultures and histories. The first inhabitants of Dominica were the Otuaroid people, followed by the Arawaks and then the Kalinago. The Otuaroid, known for their pottery skills, were seafaring people from South America who settled in Dominica around 2000 BC. But it was the Arawaks and the Kalinago who left an indelible mark on the island. The Arawaks, also known as the Taino, were a peaceful people who arrived on the island around 1000 AD. They were skilled farmers and fishers cultivating crops like cassava and sweet potato and fishing in the rich Caribbean waters. Their art, characterized by pottery and cave paintings, portrayed a deep connection with their environment. But around the time of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the late 15th century, the island was home to the Kalinago, also known as the Caribs. These warriors, originally from the South American mainland, had displaced the Arawaks with their superior weaponry and naval skills. They were renowned boat builders, creating large seaworthy canoes that could carry up to 50 people. The Kalinago lived in communal huts or carbets, with a hierarchical society led by a chief. Their spiritual beliefs revolved around the forces of nature, and they held ceremonies to honor their gods. They also practiced body decoration using natural dyes to create intricate designs on their skin. Their legacy is evident in Dominica's Kalinago Barana Aute, a cultural village that offers a glimpse into their traditional lifestyle, from canoe building to cassava processing. The Kalinago territory, a region on the east coast of the island is still home to around 3,000 Kalinago people today, continuing their traditions and preserving their unique culture. The Kalinago were also known for their resistance against European colonizers, defending their homeland fiercely. Despite numerous attempts, the island remained unconquered for more than a century, earning it the name the Nature Isle of the Caribbean. The indigenous influence remains strong in Dominica, a testament to their resilience and cultural strength. From the Autoroid to the Arawaks and the Kalinago, their stories are woven into the fabric of Dominica, shaping its unique identity and enriching its vibrant culture. The arrival of Europeans brought about dramatic changes in the life and landscape of Dominica. As we delve into the era of European colonization, we find ourselves in the late 15th century, the year is 1493, and Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, sailing under the Spanish flag, sights Dominica during his second voyage to the New World. He names the island after the Latin term for Sunday, the day he first spotted it. However, he does not set foot on the island, deterred by the rugged terrain and the fierce resistance of the indigenous Kalinago people. Fast forward to the 17th century. The French, undeterred by the island's formidable defences, established their first settlement in 1632. Dominica becomes a pawn in the European power struggle, with ownership alternating between France and Britain for over a century. The island's lush, fertile soil makes it a valuable asset, and it soon becomes a hub for sugar production. Enter African slavery. To meet the high demand for labour on sugar plantations, Africans are forcibly transported to Dominica under the deplorable conditions of the transatlantic slave trade. Their arrival marks a dark period in the island's history, characterized by brutal labor, harsh living conditions, and a systematic stripping of cultural identity. However, despite their circumstances, 
the enslaved Africans maintain a sense of community and cultural continuity. They intermingle with the indigenous Kalinago and the European settlers, creating a unique blend of cultures that still defines Dominica today. In the late 18th century, Britain emerges as the final colonial power, seizing control of Dominica from the French. The British introduce their own laws, language and customs, further shaping the island's cultural landscape. However, the seeds of resistance are sown, and the fight for freedom begins to brew. The European era left a profound impact on Dominica, forever changing its demographic and cultural fabric. This period, marked by conquest, exploitation and resilience, is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Dominican people. Their history, though marred by hardship, is also a story of survival and transformation, a story that continues to unfold with each passing day. The struggle for freedom and self-governance was a significant chapter in Dominica's history. Its journey to independence was marked by a series of pivotal events, each echoing the island's resilience and its persistent quest for autonomy. The abolition of slavery in the early 19th century was a turning point for Dominica. On August 1, 1834, the Emancipation Act came into force, liberating enslaved Africans across the British Caribbean. This monumental act set the stage for the island's transformation, as freed individuals began to build their lives with newfound liberty. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, Dominica joined the West Indies Federation, an ambitious yet short-lived political union of Caribbean colonies under British rule. Established in 1958, the Federation aimed to create a single, independent nation unifying the diverse islands of the Caribbean. However, despite its noble intentions, the Federation was fraught with political disagreements and economic challenges. By 1962, the Federation dissolved, leaving each member to chart its own path towards independence. Dominica's road to independence was not without its hurdles. It was a journey marked by political unrest, economic instability and social upheaval. Yet, the island persevered, driven by a collective desire for self-determination and a vision of a brighter, sovereign future. On November 3, 1978, Dominica's dream of independence became a reality. The island officially severed its colonial ties, emerging as a sovereign nation on the global stage. The day was marked with jubilation as Dominicans celebrated their hard-earned freedom and the promise of self-governance. Independence marked a new beginning for Dominica, a chance to shape its own destiny. It signified the island's undying spirit, its resilience and its unwavering commitment to progress. As we delve deeper into Dominica's history, we're reminded of the strength and determination that guided this small island nation on its road to independence. And as we look to the future, we see the enduring legacy of that journey, a testament to the power of unity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of freedom. Independence marked a new beginning for Dominica, a chance to shape its own destiny. Dominica today is a vibrant blend of its past, a testament to its resilience and diverse heritage. This island paradise, nestled in the heart of the Caribbean, is brimming with life, culture, and an unmistakable spirit of adventure. The heartbeat of Dominica is its people, a warm and welcoming community that's a tapestry of African, indigenous, Kalinago and European influences. This cultural fusion is evident in the island's traditional music, lively dance forms and mouth-watering cuisine, creating a rich sensory experience that's uniquely Dominican. Integral to Dominica's identity is its commitment to the environment. The island leads the way in sustainable tourism, with eco-friendly accommodations, community-based tourism projects, and marine conservation initiatives that prioritize protecting its natural resources. Dominica's lush landscapes, from its verdant rainforests to its volcanic terrains, are not just breathtakingly beautiful, they are also the guardians of the island's biodiversity. Dominica's economy, while small, is resilient and diverse. Agriculture remains a significant sector, with bananas, citrus and cocoa among its main exports. But it's tourism that's the rising star, attracting travelers from around the globe with its stunning natural beauty, adventure sports, wellness retreats and historical landmarks. The island's history is very much alive in its present. 
The Kalinago Barana Ote, a cultural village in the Kalinago territory, stands as a living testament to Dominica's indigenous roots. Meanwhile, the echoes of European colonization and slavery can be explored through the remnants of Fort Shirley in Cabritz National Park. But perhaps what truly sets Dominica apart is its spirit of resilience. The island has weathered numerous storms, both literal and metaphorical, yet it continues to thrive and evolve. This resilience is woven into the fabric of Dominican life, a testament to the island's indomitable spirit. Dominica's history is a compelling journey of resilience, diversity and transformation, making it the unique island paradise we know and love today. So what have we learned about the history of Dominica? We've journeyed through time, witnessing the rich tapestry of Dominica's past. We've discovered the indigenous era, where the resilient Kalinago people thrived, leaving an indelible mark on the island's cultural heritage. We've delved into the era of European colonization and slavery, a tumultuous period that shaped Dominica's socio-political landscape. We've traced the island's path to independence, a testament to the Dominican people's unwavering spirit and determination. We've also looked at Dominica today, a vibrant blend of natural beauty, cultural richness, and community resilience. From the lush rainforests and stunning beaches to the pulsating rhythms of traditional music and the tantalizing flavors of Dominican cuisine, the island continues to captivate and inspire. As we look back at Dominica's past, we gain a deeper appreciation for its present and an optimistic view of its future.